<laughs> hey stampers it's the pampered stamper and it is tuesday morning at 10 15 i might be a minute late maybe it's 10 16 i don't know but <coughs> anyway i um i had to put my hair up in a ponytail and that also explains the reason that i slept in this morning i don't know about you guys but um i'm 52 and I've been doing really well with this uh, social isolation because I don't really feel very socially isolated because I get to see you guys every day. So I'm always talking to people and writing to people and engaging with people. So that's not the thing. But for some reason, my body has decided that it's time for hot flashes to return with a vengeance. So they've been waking me up at night, several times a night. So yeah, that meant I slept in till nine o'clock. I had set my alarm for nine thinking I'll let myself wake up naturally. I've been waking up between 7.30 and eight o'clock the last couple of days. So I was pretty proud of myself. Well, not this morning, nine o'clock. And then I'm getting ready to do this video and I'm like, I'm so hot. So I put my hair up in a ponytail and I'm ready to go. But I wanted to show you, let's have a look, this stamp set. So. It's called Special Someone, and I don't know about you guys yesterday, if you had a chance to see the video that I recorded with Zoom with Gerard. Um, I had intended for lots of people to be able to join us, but apparently there was a glitch, and a lot of you guys could not join in even though you wanted to, so I'm very sorry about that, because I know that during these times, hi Anne-Marie, hi Giselle, it's really frustrating when you have a glitch, when, uh, hi Kathy, when, when technology doesn't do what you want it to do, and especially when you're trying to connect with other people, and then when it doesn't work, you, you might have felt rage. If you felt rage, I totally get it. Um, because really, um, oh, that's nice, Jennifer. You know what? We are going to do a Zoom activity today. I'm super excited about it. Um, and that's the thing about this whole COVID-19 thing. It's making us think outside the box. Um, in our own homes, it's making us discover new ways to connect, you know, playing games, reading books, designing all kinds of activities. Hi, Anne. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Anne-Marie. And so I'm trying to, uh, it's okay, Faye, your card was there and he loved it. So back to the Zoom meeting with Gerard, he, um, he was so touched. He cannot believe um, the thought that went into the cards. He said, I think they already know me. And um, anyway, he was he was really touched by all the cards. And, and if you are one of the people that sent a card, please don't compare your card to other people's cards. Every card, no matter how simple or how, how fancy, um, it's that's not really what counts. It's the love that counts. It's the fact that you took the time to make a card just for him and then to mail it here to me. Honestly, that's the furthest thing from his mind. He's just like, it's really, really nice. So today I will blog about those cards. Um, I won't do them all in one blog post, of course. And then one of you guys will get be drawn for a contest. And I'll do that today as well for a free stamp set, a free masculine stamp set out of the occasions book. So that was nice. Yeah, he was so happy, Anne-Marie. I don't know what time the Zoom meeting is going to be today yet, but I think, excuse me, I think we'll do it at one o'clock. We'll do the first one at one o'clock. So what I want to do, and I still have to figure out all the technicalities for it, I want to do a Zoom bingo. And I want to do the Zoom bingo in the same way that I do my live bingo, that everybody wins, okay? Um, I can't do it for free, but I'm going to do two price points. And the price includes me sending um, the stamp set um, in Canada. So if you want to play along and you don't live in Canada, you're going to have to help me out with postage, okay? Then you can play along too. And so also, actually, you know what? I might do it a bit differently. For those people who are living overseas and want to participate, I will have prizes that are paper pumpkin stamp sets because I can mail those to you at very little cost, okay? So I'm going to do one Zoom bingo where the ticket price is going to be... $40 and then I'm going to do another zoom bingo where the ticket price is going to be $15 okay now for the $40 one it's all going to be I will I will give you a list of the prizes that's going to be the most work um, the prizes are going to be all out of the annual and occasions catalog okay there'll be a list and I'm hoping to make a little sheet with 
pictures and whatnot, but we'll see how good I get at this. And then the second bingo one, the $15 one, it will be all um, retired product, okay? So stamp sets that I have on hand, and I will take pictures of all of them, and then you guys can decide. So the, the one for the new product will be at 1 o'clock, and then let's say 4 p.m. for the one that's a $15 one. And I will put, I will make an event, okay, with a Zoom link and all that good stuff. And that'll give you lots of time to figure it out, to decide if you want to play and to um, figure out how to log into Zoom. It's really not that hard. I think the trickiest part is turning on your volume. Um, yeah, and if, if you want to, just Google Zoom how to. It's really easy, okay? Hi, Kathy. So far, I'm well. I'm hoping that you guys are all well too. Hi, Lisa. Um, I think that's the hard part about this whole thing. I call it low hanging cloud of menace because we don't know what to expect. We kind of think it's coming. We don't know when, we don't know how, we don't know if we're gonna be affected and we don't like the unknown and we can't plan. Uh, I was supposed to go to Holland at the end of April. I'm thinking, I think it's easier for my psyche if I just plan on that not happening. Seems like we won't be flying till June. Um, but yeah, I'm just not going to spend any mental, mental energy on that because it's not something I can do anything about. So I think the key to mental health is letting go, okay, and changing your focus. So let go of, of your plans. It's like let go and let God. He's got this. He knows what's going to happen. He doesn't promise us an easy ride. Um, and even as Christians... He doesn't promise us an easy ride. He doesn't tell us that there's going to be no hardships. In fact, he, he tells us that there will be, that there's going to be tough times. But he does say that he will never leave or forsake us, even though sometimes it feels like it does, okay? But in the end, it's going to be good, okay? So hold on to that. Just hold on to that. And, and if you can't find the words to pray, then we have that comfort too. God says that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. That means he goes to God on our behalf and he intercedes with us. And this is the beautiful thing with sighs too deep for words. So God doesn't need words to know how you're feeling. It's okay to just say, Hey God, I'm here and I'm worried. I'm really having a hard time. And then breathe, just breathe and sigh and just Rest in that peace that he knows you and he loves you. Okay, so I do wish that for you today. And that I really wasn't planning on going there. Um, this just happens. And you're very welcome for the encouragement. I just, you know, that's God. And that's not me. So, are we ready to stamp? And please, if, if you don't see me posting an event right after this, then remind me. Because I'm squirrely and I will forget. And then the other exciting news is that I'm $14.80 away from my half a million in sales. So how exciting is that? So this bingo party will put me over the edge in a happy way. So you're welcome, Sherry. Um, I think that's what we're here for. We're here to help make the world a better place. So what I'm asking too, for anyone local in Chatham, all my stampers, if you have old ink pads, the old style that you're maybe not using or that you're keeping as a second one, please drop them off to me. I will disinfect them. I will re-ink them and then I can keep handing out free kits. Um, same thing with old wooden stamps. I'm gonna, I separate them so that I can put them in kits for the kids. Um, yeah, so together we can use our hoarding stash for the good of others, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I just think we need someone that organizes it a little bit and I know that we all have that goodness in our hearts and I just wanna invite you to participate. So. I'm going to, this is now, you might want to close your eyes because I'm going to take my phone out of the holder. Yikes, boo. And then I have to fiddle with one hand and change my, my holder for my phone. And then I have to flip my phone so that it goes the other way. So it's a bit of stuff happening before I can stamp with you. Okay, I'm going to flip it. All right, now you can see my messy table. And here we go. I'm just... Yeah, I'm still talking. I'm talking so you don't leave. And now in we go. Hopefully this doesn't turn anything off. All right. Probably a little bit of bouncing going on. Here we go. So I have used the oval stitched framelit. 
It's the biggest one. And I've used some of the gingham. It's not gingham paper. This is the paper I was talking about yesterday that comes in all the different color families. So this is the in color. So this one is uh, purple posy. And so I cut out the thing and you can cut out two at a time. Okay. So I've got two here. We're going to start with the purple posy one. And these are extra pieces that I can use for something again. So we'll worry about that later. I have this piece and I'm going to use it on a Whisper White cardstock. And this piece is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. All right, so this piece I'm going to pop up. But before I do that, I wanna create some grass. And this set here, so this is the set that's called Special Someone. And I think it's so cool that I'm using that today after that whole thing with Gerard, because he definitely is a very special someone, honestly. Everybody would be so lucky as to have a Gerard in their life. All right, so here are all the framelits, and they're so cute. Um, I have cut out a few things ahead of time. My favorite ones, of course, the animals, but this long grass piece is fantastic. Look what it does here. And you can cut it as long as you want. It only cuts the top, it doesn't cut the bottom. So the higher you put it up on your green piece, the thicker your grass. This is also a fantastic little, little guy, um, the word bubble, because the words are pretty small, but when they're in a bubble, they're super cute. So I really, really like that. Um, and then I'll show you the rest later, okay? So, so now I have to decide whether I want sponging or if I want the green grass. And I think I'm going to use the green grass. And you've got to remember, guys, I am just playing now. I have not made this card yet because I slept in. So I'm just going to flip this over so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just cut this piece of green right here. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive on either end. In fact, I'll use a glue dot. That's easy. Glue dots are your best friend. One on either end. And then I'm going to take this and just lay it flat and do this. See? How cute is that? So now I have my grass. Now I've cut out, I've stamped and cut out my raccoon. So here he is. And we're going to stamp him as well. And I did find that the easiest thing, these are two step stamps. So it can be a little tricky. And if you have a hard time lining up your stamps, the Stamparatus, if you do not have a Stamparatus, I'm telling you people, this is going to be the deal of the day. If you don't have a Stamparatus and you want a Stamparatus, you, if you order it today, that's my featured item of the day, you can have it with no shipping and no tax. And you will also get a um, free celebration item then. So the way that's going to work, if you order online, I will e-transfer you the amount that was the shipping and the tax, okay? If you order it through me, so I just stamped this in early espresso. If you order it through me, then I can right away adjust that. So see, he looks fine just all by himself, but I'm going to just peel this off. And we're going to put the other piece on, and I'm going to do that in crumb cake, if I can find it. I, I left all my, um, oh, here it is. I left all my um, ink pads open so you didn't have to listen to me cl clicking away. So you hover over top and there you go. See, isn't it cute? Yeah. All right. So that's how the raccoon was stamped. I like him better than my other ones. Go figure. He's darker. Well, they're all cute. So you can see how you can make them all individual because raccoons are all different. How cute is that? Yeah. All right. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. I, I'm glad I didn't see that, Patty. Yeah, there's a little microphone underneath um, your thing and you can turn your sound on. OK. And don't worry about it. You can always listen to it afterwards. And lately I have been um, downloading all my videos to YouTube. So if you guys could follow me on YouTube, that would be awesome. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube. You won't miss a video and it makes me happy. OK. I don't know you guys like making me happy. It's all about me today. No, I'm so kidding. That's so not true. So what I'm going to do now is I'm being flippant. I'm going to put some dimensionals. Now this is DSP, so it's not as heavy as cardstock. So I'm going to be a little bit extravagant 
with my dimensionals because I don't want my card flopping. I don't normally never do this, okay? So you really only have to do this with pattern paper, okay? Oh, look at all the hearts, guys. You guys are awesome. You know what makes me happy. I'm just a little kid at heart, you know. That's why I love my rubber boots. Um, yeah, I went for a walk yesterday with Rachel, and it was really crappy weather here in Chatham. It was gray, and it, was, it wasn't too windy, but there was no sun, and it was cold. But you know what? After we were out for a little while, you don't notice the cold anymore. You hear the birds singing. You see flowers popping up in the most unexpected places. It's always nice seeing flowers in the wild, don't you think? Anyway, and it just restores your soul. So this is what we have so far. Now we're going to find our creature. Here he is. He's going to sit in the grass like that. Oh, isn't he looking cute? Okay, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. All right, these guys, I'm telling you, this is a great stamp set to get because it just makes you happy. There you go. Here he is. Now we're going to give him a balloon. So before I do that, I'm going to show you. So we're going to get the stamp out. There's a balloon with a little loopy thing. There we go. The stamp set is called, Yvonne, the stamp set is called Special Summon. Here you go again. Okay. There you go. Rachel was my sunshine. Okay, the trick here, you see, this is a really floppy stamp. It's super important to lay it down and then put it on your block like that. Because if you don't do that, your, your stamp is not going to line up with your, with your framelit. Okay? So I'm just going to do this for fun. So there's my, my, my string. And then let's have a look. Here is the framelit. And so what you want to do with the framelit is you want to make sure that the top thing, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, okay? You want to make sure that that is in there. And then this is what you get. Just a minute. I'm having a hard time picking these up. There you go. So he's going to have a balloon. And again, I'm going to use a glue dot because they're very strong. Glue dots are strong. I have to find my glue dots. Oh, there they are. And I'm just going to put a glue dot on this top part. Sometimes we try to fix things down too much. And like ribbon too. You don't want it down flat everywhere. It's nice to have a little bit of, of um, movement. So I'm just going to give him a little lift. Well, no, I can't lift him. And I'm going to put this up here. There. I might have to, I, I think I lied. I was hoping to tuck them underneath, but I can't lift them up. I, I've glued them down too well. So I have made a complete liar out of myself and I'm going to use my scissors because I don't have a pokey tool. And then I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to fold that glue dot in half because otherwise it's too thick. And then I'm going to tuck it in underneath, right like that and shove it down. Now he's down, but he's still got some movement in there, which I like. And now I've already stamped a balloon. And look at that. And I'm going to pop that balloon up. And then we're going to add some words. Good morning, Shelly. And there we go. So now I've got, I could have used the saying thing, the little bubble. And then the bubble cuts that way, but if you flip it upside down, you've got to go in the other way. But then it's, yeah. You can also cut off that little, the bubble thing, so that it's just a, a long rectangle. But I stamped, this balloon is special. It's filled with helium. Helium, like, oh yeah, well, you'll see it. It's a pun. So here, I'm only going to put adhesive on the one side, like so. And on this side, I'm only going to put the adhesive on that side. And how cute is that? And then, I mean, if you wanted to, you could have some balloons laying down or whatever, or you could do another balloon. It doesn't matter. Um, I've got a little mouse here. He's kind of cute too. 
but that might be adding too much to the card. Okay, sometimes we want to add too much to the card and then it gets cluttered. I have another cute little cutout. Look at the little flower. That's cute too. I kind of like that. I like that a lot, actually. What do you think? Do you like the flower in there or no? Anyway, I'm going to go back to the stamp set for a minute and my piece of white paper. I've got a piece of white here. So we've done this. Oh, the squirrel is super cute too. Um, where did he go? Yeah, here he is. Look. Look at that. Yeah, you guys like the flower. Okay, good. All right. So let's do the squirrel for a minute. Again, I find it easiest if you first stamp the um, the detailed part. See, so here he is. And all the stamps, look, he looks good just like that too. So if the, if the, um, the two-step stamping stresses you out, don't do it. Um, you could also color them. So look, if I take a blend to him right now, and look, he gets colored. And that's cute too, right? Because then you can, I can leave his nose white. So that's a really cool technique. Yeah, I like that. So that's if you color them. Now let's see when we give him a, a two-step. So there he is. We'll peel him off. I should be cleaning. All right. I get excited, and then I don't take time to clean my stamps. And then I get ink on my stamp block. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I'm going to do crumb cake. And then you have to lower it carefully and then angle it. See how you can see that's wrong? There. Yeah, he looks pretty cute, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a really cute squirrel. So, of course, I am biased. There is also a heart balloon. So, let's do that. We'll do the heart, and I'm going to do it in red, of course. So, here's the heart. And then, there is an outline for the heart. For the Oh, no, yeah, let me see. So yes, this I have had this set for a while and I haven't played with it. And when I started playing with it, it's like, oh my goodness, this is so cute. And there, see how nice that is? Yeah, so you can do heart balloons too. Now let's do the flower. The flower is so cheerful. Oh, I did, I made a mistake. So with the flower, lay it down. And then, oh, and, and did you notice I was wearing my pajamas? But they're cute pajamas. And I did do my face. So then I feel like I'm still dressed up. If I'm in cute pajamas, I don't feel guilty at all. And they're thin cotton, so you know why that's a good thing. All right, so there's the flower. And now I have to find the other piece. There's a little tiny flower, too, which would be cute in the grass. All right, I want to do this one in yellow. And with this, oh, look at that. I got it right the first time. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that cute? Yeah, the squirrel using the blender pen is really nice. It's okay, Joanne, that you missed the beginning. The, the video will be up later and you can see the whole thing. That's the beauty of technology. Okay, I could show you. Oh, there's a tiny little flower too. So you can see that um, you can make quite the nice scene with with this so here's a little flower and maybe we will do a little purple center there we go oh it's too dark there's a light one see so now maybe we can stamp backwards I don't know how well it will work we're about to find out but believe you, believe it or not, I've already lost the... Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, oh, I totally messed that up. Look, see? I messed things up, too. Let's do it this way. And clean it. And little flower. So then we stamp off. 
So I, this is gorgeous grape, stamped off, and then, oh yeah, see now this time I have it wrong. You have to kind of hover over it to see which one is right. I think, oh yeah, this could really drive you crazy. Do not do this when you're feeling stressed. There we go. How cute is that? The heart, everything is from, I'm using one that for everything okay so here we have the two raccoons here we have the squirrels the mouse the regular balloons the heart balloons the big flower the little flower the balloon stem there's even a tiny butterfly and a flying butterfly I didn't even notice those and then there's thank you happy birthday a very special day for a very special someone it's filled with helium and this balloon is special and I just had an idea for my bingo. So I'm going to have prizes for the bingo, but let's say you don't like your prize, then I will let you pick something else out for the same value. How does that sound? Does that make it more fun? Anyway, stay tuned for the bingo. I think I'm done playing. Here is the card. And what? I was going to do something else, but I totally forget now what it was. Okay, it's all good. Um, you know, you could add another creature. The squirrel could be looking in. I think that looks kind of cute too, right? Yeah, I don't think that the... That looks nice, but I like him better when he's got a buddy visiting. I like that a lot, actually. All right, we're going to do that. Let's add him in. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. I like that. Yes? All right, and then yesterday I had a card going and I finally fussy cut the duck. So the duck is from Fable Friends and the Hugs, Prayers, Love is from Positive Thoughts. Um, let me see if I can find that for you. Yeah, here is the Positive Thoughts. And I have found out that um, the framelits will be continued into the other the next catalog. So that's really good. Because I have not played with this enough. I'm really excited about that feather. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Well, actually, you know what? Who cares? Let's do this. I want to show you this flower and how pretty it is. I might as well show you all of the stamps. What do you think? We've got nothing better to do. Here we go. I've got some scrap paper, I think. I thought I did. Well, you know what? We'll just turn our paper upside down. That works. Oh, look. Here's the little mouse. He was hiding. There's the mouse. Isn't he cute? Yeah. All right. Gorgeous grape. So here's the flower. And so full strength. And then stamped off. And then stamped off again. Look how pretty. So that's just the flower. And then there's a framelit that goes with it that will cut it out. Wow, I did it right the first time. Pretty good, hey? We'll clean that off and here is the foliage stamp oh I found another piece of white no I didn't oh people all right I have scrap paper we can do that I'm looking for green oh yeah I do I've got granny apple green on my desk so yeah, the little animals are really cute. This is a great stamp set. Special someone. Look how nice that is. And then stamped off. See, it's beautiful. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm talking to myself. This is getting dangerous. Um, the feather. Here's the feather. I haven't run out of paper yet. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Stamped off. These are nice stamps to go on an envelope too. Do you want to see the butterfly? And let's see what color should we do the butterfly? Well, I'm doing it red. That's not a good color, but pretty, right? And there's a framelit for that too. So, very nice. 
Okay, guys, I am going to let you go. It's time for me to stop yammering and to start organizing that bingo party. Okay, so stay tuned for details. We're going to figure out this Zoom thing together because once you figure out Zoom, you can use it to get together with your family too. We did a Zoom call with the kids and all I'm telling you, Mama Bear was proud because the kids hadn't done Zoom yet and Mama Bear had. So I felt pretty good about that. Um, I hope you guys have a super day. If you're listening and you live in Canada and you've never ordered for me, I'm telling you, today is the day. Order that Stamparatus. It's a fantastic um, tool. Let me grab it for a minute. It's, um, it's a stamp positioning tool that allows you to stamp in the same place every time and to get it just as dark as you want it to be. Oh yeah, look, here, I have one. Let's do it. So I put this in the corner with my magnet. Look at, I said I'd stop talking and I didn't. But I really want to show you this. I'm such a believer in the Stamparatus that my Stamparatus hardly ever gets put away. I use it all the time. I have never had anyone be disappointed in their Stamparatus purchase. See, so there it is. That's actually dark enough, but watch this. I'm going to do it again. You always have to make sure that your piece hasn't moved, that it stays tight in the corner. Okay, and then you can stamp it again. And now look, it's even darker. It's beautiful. So, yeah, it's great. The Stamparatus is $67, so there'll be no shipping and no tax, so you can get a free item with it as well. So, happy, happy stamping today, and have a wonderful day. And remember, when you're creating and coloring and doing things for other people, you will not think about the bad things in the world too much. Okay. Love you all. Bye.